In 1997, my dad, this is him, and I stopped talking for about 10 years, uh, which wasn't that unusual. I didn't grow up with my dad. Um, I grew up in Florida, and my dad lived in Texas, so we didn't really have a relationship when I was growing up anyway. Um, but then in 2007, he wrote me an email, and he said, do you want to collaborate on this children's story that I've written? And um, it was about a little boy waking up, and his parents are, are making him a burrito, and it's very wholesome. I wasn't sure I could commit to an entire book, but I said, I'll do this one illustration, and this is it. And it started a relationship with him that I didn't think was possible. Um, so I spent, after that, a summer with him and did a few more illustrations. Um, and then I moved to Canada, and we still talk on the phone every Sunday. Um, but last May, his drinking put him in the hospital, and I thought, shit, you know, he's going to die, and I'm not gonna, he's not going to see the end of this book. Um, so I was desperate, and I went to Kickstarter. Um, for those who don't know, it's a fundraising platform for uh, mostly creative projects. Um, within 48 hours, my husband and I had put together a video and put it up on Kickstarter, and within a week, we had raised uh, $5,500 to to publish this book. Um, this is our page. Uh, if you're not familiar with Kickstarter, so like I said, it's a fundraising platform. You basically set a, a money goal and you have a certain amount of time to raise that money. So if you don't accomplish that goal within the time period, then you walk away with nothing. But if you raise more than that, then you can keep whatever extra you raise. Um, and then we're going to dive into the background of that project. So this is our progress over the time period. You see this black bar was our original goal, um, raised over 250% of that. The first spike was me sending emails out to everyone I knew. Uh, the second one was getting featured in Kickstarter's newsletter. Um, more behind the scenes. Um, you also set pledge rewards, so for depending on the amount of money that you give, um, people will get different objects, um, usually related to your to your project, so books or something more experiential. Our most popular one was the $25 reward, um, which was interesting because the book retails at 15 so people were willing to give a little bit extra to make it happen. The other surprising thing was that um, more strangers than anybody gave to the project, um, people that I didn't know at all, people that wrote to me that said that uh, they too had been estranged from their parents and could relate to this. Uh, so that was really interesting. I dive more into the people that donated and figured out that of the total money raised, um, people that I knew accounted for 46% of the project total and average $50 donations. Um, but slightly more than that, more 54% uh, were completely um, strangers and average $25 donations. So how, do it, how did that happen? I think I was very lucky, for one thing, to be featured in Kickstarter's newsletter and on their homepage. Um, but I was also pretty resourceful, and I used um, a lot of different channels to talk about the story. Uh, I enlisted a lot of help from people and was lucky that they gave it to me. Um, you can see here all of the tools that I've used throughout the project. So from the um, analog tools and methods used to create the actual book, um, all the way to the right-hand lower quadrant, which is more software that we use to create our book trailer and all the effects in that that some friends help me with. It's a lot of work in there. Uh, some other stats I found that were interesting were that men and women gave fairly equally, both in number and in the amount they gave. Some people gave us couples. Um, from other surveys, the iPad was a more popular e-reader than the Kindle. There were eight times as many meat eaters than vegetarians. And uh, Gmail was unsurprisingly the most common email to me. Um, more Americans gave to the site. I'm American and the site is American, so that's not surprising at all. Um, but people from all over the world really were giving. Um, I thought it was interesting that it was more expensive to mail a book from within Ontario uh, than it was from Toronto to Luxembourg. Um, budget was really difficult to predict, um, but you see, luckily, we ended up in the plus side, 790. Uh, but early on, Dad and I had decided we wanted to give back to Cam H's Strength and Families program, so we gave them, so far, $400 and $200 in the pocket for, for Dad and I. So if I, uh, if I work that out to my time in a rough estimate, say 10 weeks full-time is 400 hours, uh, that works 
out to about 50 cents an hour rate for me. Um, we also had 600 books printed, 340 of which are still sitting in my guest room. So a project like this isn't about the money or about pushing product, although I think we ended up with something that I was really proud of. Um, this was our prize pack at the book launch that we had that we gave away, a hand-sewn uh, plush doll that I did. Um, but really the, the book launch itself was one of the intangible rewards of this, of getting together with everyone who had been involved in this and being able to celebrate with them. Um, these are all the people at the book launch. It's my mom. She flew up from Florida and manned the money table. Um, we had a listening station, uh, the girl in the middle of my dad reading the story. Um, since he couldn't be there in person, uh, he was there in that way. We had coloring stations and we had this giant wall that we said, what's your dream? And we invited people to write on a post-it what their dream was. Um, and some of these are just entirely, you can't quantitate this kind of success. To cure my mom's illness was what somebody wrote. And that feeling that, you know, I can relate to that, I can relate to you, is something you can't, you can't um, get easily. This was the best and the worst part of the project for me, was holding the actual book in my hands and knowing that um, something that so many people had, had given to and so much time and work and blood, sweat, and tears had gone into um, was over, but that was also successful and, and brought people together. Um, I took the book to my dad last September, and this is him when he was practicing his autograph to sign the books. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because he's, um, you know, kind of in and out of the hospital now, but um, this look on his face, I never would have known what it was before. It's of uh, utter contentment. So, uh, yeah, thanks.